Hi, I'm Miss Kim, the art instructor at the Music Connection in Orland Park. And today I'm excited to teach you this impasto style painting of sunflowers inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. So let's begin. So here is my example of my Van Gogh inspired sunflower designed painting impasto style. What impasto means is it's like a thick paint. Um, you add a medium to it to create a thickness. You mix it in with a paint palette knife and it's almost like the texture, a little bit of like a peanut butter, but actually smoother than that even. Van Gogh is who came up with the idea of impasto styled painting to create that three dimensional coming off the canvas texture. It's a texture you could feel with your hands and see it with the shadows and you actually see the petals coming off the canvas as well as the leaves. Obviously I covered my table with plastic and this is a canvas panel or canvas board, eight by 10. Here's a palette and I have some plastic uh, palette knife here. So I have a container with water to clean my brush, a paper towel to clean your brush, palette knives, these are three of them. Here's a four, a six, and an eight. And then here's a marker to sign your name and date it and paint colors and the two jars I have here is Artist Loft. This one is a modeling paste. Here's the other one, Artist Loft, and this is a gloss gel medium. I have my acrylic paints here. These are Artist Loft. I have a bright yellow, a deeper yellow, a red, a green, a light blue, a violet, and a black. So let's begin. I'm going to use my palette with my palette knife. I'm going to just use one of the plastic ones for now. I am going to take some of the um, modeling paste here. It's thicker. You don't need a lot. Now we're mixing it with the paint palette knife, combining the two. And I'm trying to make create that thickness. And you're going to feel it in, with your hand. You can feel it through the paint knife, how it is getting thicker. So I'm going to take just the blue and the modeling paste here. I combine them and see it has like that thickness and it creates, it has that way of staying put. I'm going to pick up my canvas palette and I'm just going to simply do this with my brush or my um, palette knife, sorry. And I'm not thinking about it. I'm just kind of scraping across the um, canvas like so and the sides a little bit. It's going to create some open spaces. Leave it like that because you're going to be adding the purple too. And I'm going to go in for some more on the paint palette knife and just kind of brush across it. It creates that texture, if you can see. And I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter of like the blue skies that I'm trying to suggest in my picture shown here. All right, you can keep scraping off the remainder of that and then just finish it down here. Okay, and don't overwork it too much and make sure you scrape the excess paint onto the palette like this so you can really use it up. The next thing I'm going to do is on my palette, I'm going to use this gloss gel medium. Take a different knife and just and take it and take it out of the um, container and set it into your palette. So I'm mixing in the violet, like one little blob of it because I'm going to have a little pink, light, purple also in mixed in. So I'm going to mix this up with a pink yellow like so. So the violet and the medium gloss gel. So I'm mixing it all in like so. And since all of this, that um, gloss medium and the purple, I'm going to stick with this to paint with. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to start from here because this is where I started and just kind of sprig sweep over and yes the blue will get mixed in a little and that's okay that'll make it interesting You can go ahead and put that in the water, your paint palette knife, and mix it up and clean it off. This is going to dry, so we will continue, but we'll allow some dry time. Okay, we're going to carry on with our painting. Next step I want to do is the leaves around the blooms. So I'm going to just start with green in my palette here, and I'm going to put it on my palette. 
so you can see. And then I'm just going to add some modeling paste, mix it in. Use your palette knife. And this one you want a little more because you're going to make it thicker. The leaves are going to pop up a little more, more three-dimensional off your canvas. And I'm mixing the color of the green and the modeling paste. Now I'm going to take some of that and apply it on my knife. And then I'm creating the leaves to the side here. And I'm just going to kind of go like that and create my leaves. And see how it's thick? It's adjusting leaves. Think like a leaf when you're making your leaves. The shape of them. And if you need to look at a picture of an actual sunflower before your project, you might want to look at it to get the idea of the shape of the leaves and the flower itself to get a little more familiar with your subject matter, which is the sunflower today. And Vincent Van Gogh is very popular for making sunflower and pasto pictures. And he was the one that um, invented in pasto this textured, thick painting style and with a paint palette knife. All right, I'm going around and I might even go up into the sky with the paint palette with the tip to create that leaf and make sure I'm getting it all in there. And I'm scraping off the palette, the green, so I can get as much green as I can. This one a little deeper down into it, but you know, it's okay. I don't have to do it exactly like that. So I'm scraping some more paint off my palette like so. And I'm just applying it onto my picture like this. And then I'm just going to make some fixes a little bit of how I want things on here. Um, and that's about it. And we're going to paint over some of that green too and layer. All right, now I'm going to add a little yellow into the screen. So you have that effect mixed in. And I'm using the bright yellow. I'm going to mix these two colors together. And it may not mix perfect. I can add a little water to get it a little more wet. But you get the idea. And I'm going to add it into the screen some yellow. I'm just going to kind of brush it in there like so. I'm just going to use my paint palette knife and swipe it over on top of the green. Next is the blooms. With this, you're going to want to add even more modeling paste because it's thicker. You can see and feel the texture on my picture. You can actually, once it's all dry, dry, which I would say overnight, let it dry, not to touch it like I just did because that's in your eye for a couple hours now, you know, overnight. Here's the modeling paste. I'm adding more. And I'm going to add some orange or red and I'm use a darker yellow and just add that in. More yellow because I want it more yellow than or uh, red within the orange color. All right, so we're scraping it all into there, mixing it. All right, and I'm using my palette knife and I'm just making kind of like the petals and just Using the tip, as you can see, is the, the end of the, the flower, the bloom. And I'm just pulling it down. And doesn't that look like paint, um, painted petals of a flower? And I would just continue to go around. In the center, I'm just going to make it out like this to create the center to give you an idea. Okay? I'm going to put my paint palette knife back in the water, clean it up, mix it in that water, and then wipe it off with my paper towel, like so. All right, now I am going to go ahead and do the yellow, the dark, and I'm putting the yellow into my paint palette and the modeling paste. And mix, mix, mix. You're going to create that thickness. And let's make this flower. And it's going to be right over on this side. Oop. And don't worry, we can paint is pretty forgiving. We can fix it. And you'll let things dry. You can always go over it with the color you need with the brush to finish it. So if you have some green mixed in there, you can always later, once it's dry, use your paint brush to clean that up a little bit. All right. And I'm going right into the green so those petals will stick out 
on top of the pep uh, the um, leaves of the green, you have the yellow is contrasting against the green. And now I'm going to take some modeling paste, put it on my plate right over here, and I'm going to add the black, purpley black. I just put a tiny bit of purple and a little bit of black, and it makes a nice, interesting color for the center of the sunflower blooms. Put it in there like so. So you can see, I just put a little dab of the black, the purple, and the modeling paste, and I'm going to mix them all together like so. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put it right in there and go up and down to create the texture of the center of that sunflower, like shown here. The last thing you could do once you have your blooms all painted in like this all the way around, you're just continuing that idea all the way around. And this one, you're just overlapping some petals this way to make it look like it's looking out that way. With a paintbrush, you could wet it, take a little yellow or whatever you need to do and repair anything later. Right now I'm showing it to you, but you would wait till this is dry and then go back in and make corrections. So that concludes my Impasto Sunflower Painting tutorial. Have fun with this. Remember, be happy and keep creating. Bye-bye.